Okay then, let's get started with this setup guys. So before I start this, just please hit notifications and also subscribe if you like this video. So we're talking Amiga CD32 today. So some of you might find this one a bit unusual. Some of you might not have heard of it. So it was essentially Commodore's last system before they went bankrupt in 1994. And uh, Amiga CD32, it was pretty much a glorified Amiga 1200 which ran CDs. Uh, the 32-bit era, I suppose. So let's get you started up with this. Uh, we're going to head over and firstly download WinUAE. So WinUAE, if you're not sure of this, is a really, really great emulator. It emulates pretty much everything Commodore Amiga based. So let's go to the download section and I'm going to install the 64-bit as I run a 64-bit processor. If you run a 32-bit processor then obviously go ahead and download the 32-bit we've also got two portable versions here but I'm gonna go for the install for this setup so once this is downloaded let's just quickly install WinUAE 64-bit so next and location is wherever you want this to install I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this to my C drive by default in program files and that's gonna create us a new folder in program files named WinUAE so next install and yes and finish okay so next up you're gonna need a couple of kickstart ROMs for this to get CD32 working and I highly recommend Amiga Forever where you can legally get your kickstart ROMs a very good website and they frankly deserve all the credit they get for what they do so once we've installed this as we can see we've now got the WinUA shortcut on our desktop if we open up this one this is your main interface for WinUAE so before we can start CD32 games uh, we've got our kickstart ROMs and this is going to be the CD32 extended ROM and we've also got our kickstart 3.1 so be sure to check out Amiga Forever and get your kickstart ROMs from that source so the configurations then for setting up Amiga CD32 and WinUAE firstly we're going to need to go to the CPU and FPU tab just make sure that the 68020 is checked and the 24-bit addressing is also checked on this bit. Next up we're going to chipset and just make sure AGA here is checked and under chipset extra tab just here if you just pull this down and select CD32. Now we're heading over to the ROM tab now. Now just a minute ago where I said you're going to need two additional files, kickstart ROM. This is where you're going to put these into WinUA to make the magic happen. Now under main ROM file just here, there's three dots. If you just left click on this on your mouse and this is where you're going to locate your ROM 3.1 file. So in my case this one is on my desktop. And it's this one just here I'm going to select. So we got the Kickstart version 3.1 and that's the 40.60 version. If I just double left click this and under extended ROM file again, if I just left click on the three dots just here and I'm now going to find the other file I need, which is the CD32 extended ROM uh, 40.60. If I double left click on this one. So once that's done, we're going to go to RAM what we're going to do we're just going to boost up the chip to say 8 megabyte and that should be fine now before we do anything else we're going to need to save this because if you don't save it it's going to mean you're going to need to keep going back over and over again to do this and uh very frustrating stuff so let's go to configurations and from here i'm going to just give this a name i'm going to call this amiga cd32 and I'm going to save. And as we can see just here, it's now created a save for Amiga CD32. So if we close WinUAE down, when we open it back up, if we just go to configurations and highlight Amiga CD32, if I load from this, it will load us back up our settings. Okay, so we're about to launch our first game. So I've got a really cool game here. This is Flink. I'm going to just show you how this is laid out. So we've got inside flink.wave and .q. So obviously this is from a CD 
and the WAV files is telling us that it's got all these music files but the one to actually boot this game is the .q which we got right here at the bottom so what we're going to do to actually launch our game is go to CD and hard drives and once we're in CD and hard drives if I just go to select image file I'm then going to go into flink and this is the one I want so .q and let's just go ahead and start this one And here we go, this is Flink for Amiga CD32 running through WinUA. So I've got my controller plugged in, this is a USB PS3 controller and it's working fine, I didn't need to configure this one. Okay, so to bring up the menu again, once you're inside your game, just press F12 like I've just done and that will bring us back into the WinUA interface. So let's make the screen bigger for this one to begin with. So to do this, we're going to go to display and full screen. In my case, I'm going to go to 1920 by 1080 and under settings in native, I'm going to go to full screen and I'm going to head back over to configurations again and make sure my Amiga CD32 configuration is highlighted. I'm going to press save. So let's boot up flink again with these new custom configurations in place and here we go we're in full screen mode looking good So press F12 just to exit that again and just whilst we're here I'm going to show you how to add a few fancy extra features with this one. So for example if I go to display I can add scan lines to this if that's your thing. Let's OK this and as you can see we've now got some scan lines. I know some of you out there enjoy scan lines. Let's press F12 again. And you might notice there's some screen tear on there. I certainly noticed that myself. So what we're going to do to make that go away is if we just go to settings and I'm going to select on this one standard V-Sync. Let's try this. OK. And it's actually a bit hard to see what's going on with those scan lines. So I'm going to just go to single one. Press OK. So it looks a little bit fresher and there appears to be no screen tear on this, which is good. So that's about it today for my Amiga CD32 setup guide. Some of you asked for Commodore in my community. Some of you asked for obscure stuff. So I thought this was a really good opportunity to introduce some people out there who's not aware of the CD32. So also follow me on social media platforms, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And just lastly, if you've got any further additional questions, just check me out on Buy Me A Coffee. I've just set up a new option, which is commissions, so I can make you personalized videos. But until next time, stay retro.